All right, so we went over these inside and outside spins when the person's standing and on a knee, and previously we covered it when they're on a hip. So the same way we had that knee bar when the person was uh, uh, spinning when they're on their hip, we have the same idea when they're up on a knee. So, so the same idea right here, I need the foot in the armpit, I unlock my legs, we go to this position. So a few things can happen. One is when I'm going for this right here, if their knee stays very high to the ceiling, to the point where I feel like I can't throw that backside position, when my foot goes in their ribs right here, just make a strong body, Jared. When my foot goes in their ribs right here, and I lift my hips up, I can just throw a knee ball. I'm throwing my knee behind his knee. When I do this, I'm gonna take my inside hook out, and I lock that triangle right here, and I can finish that knee bar. So if I feel like his knee is so high that I'm unable to throw backside 50-50 on him, because the more his knee is flared to the ceiling, the less easy it's gonna be for me to throw that right leg around the corner. So we're doing the same thing right here. Come to me a little bit. So I drive my uh, foot in him, and I feel like I can't get that backside position. My left foot comes out when I lock a triangle, and I have this knee bar in this position with the foot in the lat, and this same kind of shot and grip. Just uh, move it down. Right here, foot comes in. I feel like I can't get this. I turn my knee on top of the hip, take the bottom leg out, tight knee bar right here. In the same token, if I'm going for this and he sits all the way to his right hip, right here. Some people will do this because they feel the threat of that. And he sits to his hip to defend. Now in no position to throw backside. So same thing as when he's on a hip in the previous section. I climb my right hand close to the knee and I throw my knee behind his knee. Now we have this kind of lat knee bar or I have the heel hook transition option as well. All right, so it's the same move. He's just, you know, on a hip. It's just important you guys see that option. Like when he's up on a knee, it's the same thing as when he's on a hip. We do the same type of options. That really helps me think about this position this position is, is really identical, whether he's on a, a knee, standing, or on a hip. It's just, you know, the way we go about it is slightly different. So you come up to the knee. So I put that hook inside. He goes to full down to the hip right here. So I can't throw back, so I just cup the knee. Knee goes behind. Now I have this lat knee bar. As I sit through, if he goes to turn his leg down, I can catch the heel, leg comes inside, and we finish. All right, so very, very similar to the other one, just a, a way we can get that when he's on a knee as opposed to when